How we feeling? Two, two just episode two eighty two. Is I, it two hundred eighty two? I don't, I don't think so. Right. What episode is it? Two thirty. Yeah. Two thirty. Oh wow! I was you're, way you're off. off. When it hits five hundred, I think that's when like I'll be done two for tw- sure. Two twenty nine. Two twenty nine. Two twenty nine. Two twenty nine. I think episode 500, I think, will be my exit for sure. You think so? 500, yeah. Let's make it to 1,000. <laughs> Are there people that have like 1,000 podcasts out? Yeah, yeah. like Joe Rogan, I'm pretty well, sure. Joe Rogan posts two. like three times a week, so that makes sense. Because he's posting so. what? That, he's already at 333 after a year. Yeah, but I mean, he's been doing it since like 2012, even longer, 2010 probably. That man could talk though. 2,700 episodes, the Jack and Stench show, 12 years. Ooh, the Stench show. Wow. The longest running monetized podcast. What podcasts do you listen to? Matt, I don't listen to podcasts. What? I, I can't. I just can't do it. But that's what we do. It's weird. I don't listen to podcasts either. I don't like consume. Like, but that's like. You know, I never listened to a podcast before we started. Either. It's like a director never seeing movies. Or I know. Like a, yeah, no, a, a I'm, chef never eating any other food. <laughs> Matt, like, I'm a fraud. There's nowhere to pull inspiration from. And that's what makes us so unique and beautiful. Zane and Heath unprepared. Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. We all are always like, oh, I just feel like we like I don't have anything to talk about. Or like, oh, like, but if you were listening to podcasts. To, you're not supposed to tell them that. Yeah, they, that they're they not supposed it. to know that. I'm <laughs> just curious what other podcasts you listen to. I, I've, I've listened to like Theo Vaughn sometimes. I've listened to... The Broski Report. We do our thing. We yeah, do our thing. I, 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 I don't have a problem with the way we do our shit. That's what makes us raw, real, and authentic. And for people feeling like they're in the room, <laughs> hanging mm. out with mm. us. And guys, if you want to make a podcast, you don't have to listen to podcasts. Just turn on that camera, grab a mic, and just start talking. Maybe just let it out. Exactly. <laughs> Run the intro. <laughs> Uh, 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 mm. Oh, give it to him. Uh. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered, season four. <laughs> I'm Zane. <laughs> I'm Heath. I think we're in five. Oh, we are in five. Welcome back to Zane and Heath unse- un- un- Unseasoned. <laughs> Welcome well, back to Zane and Heath Unseasoned, <laughs> filter five. Well, I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we uh, we are here at an, we are here on we another are, episode. We are here to stay. We um. are here on another episode. I shouldn't have taken that fucking gummy. <laughs> You wanted to. (laughs) We did the high episode and he felt really good for Patreon. Speaking of the high episode, we actually just posted a brand new high episode with the three of us, me, he, and Mm -hmm. Matt. He, he, it was he. It was he, he, boy. And Matt on Patreon right now, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. You get a ton of videos. You get bonus episodes. You get high high and drunk videos. You get um, live Q and A's. You get uh, Discord, private Discord. And we also post the unwinds where we roll the cameras after after um, every episode. And we just keep it rolling for like, you know, 15, 30 minutes and it's like a little bonus episode it's every like an episode. extended cut it's a really good time again patreon.com slash Zane and Heath if you want to check it out you get all of that for five dollars a month and you get access to everything we've ever posted on there so stock up baby but you just had like your little off. cheerio thing too like your stomach is still like filled with food as well it is too yeah I got it my I got uh, a cereal cup now where you can put cereal and milk in it, and you can eat it and drink it at the same time. You've seen it on TikTok, right? Yeah, but you're in your house. You're not. You weren't on the go. Well, I was. I was trying it out today, but <laughs> on the couch. But I will Just, be. I will be on the go when I use it. It's okay. a really like silly product, but it's kind of genius. It seems like something Kevin from the Office would like bring in. Be like, yeah, it's an amazing thing. You can I'm have Fruit Loops cereal. and the milk, but you have to time. put Fruit Loops in it. Like it has to be like chunky cereal. I tried Corn Flakes, did not work. It was just uh, like Crunch Cup is the name of it. Crunch Cup, yeah. Oh my god! Like look at that one, the spoon and all that. That's that. That's unnecessary. I don't want to have a bowl of cereal at work. I want to be able to like hide it for my coworkers and enjoy something that's like kind of embarrassing to eat. Did you ever have the cereal bowls in the 90s that had like the straw built yes. into the bowl? Yes. Wait, oh, wait, wait, yeah. what is it? Different colors. It sounds familiar. It was a cereal bowl, like plastic cereal bowl, but built into the side of the cereal bowl was like a s- plastic straw as well. And so after you ate your cereal, oh, you would drink the milk yes. out of I the straw. That, but Matt, these. why was it so disgusting? It's every time I would eat out of one, you would see like the crust coming from the oh, side. And yeah, not only that, 
you would taste it. Like when you drink it from there, like, oh, I taste the plastic. And normally you don't taste the plastic. Also, yeah. that yeah. straw with that angle is probably hard to clean. And yeah, the very milk. Hard. And that's the only thing that's going through it is milk. milk. Mm. Yeah, you got to get a pipe cleaner for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oof. That, like, and that, that went on for a long time, too. And you know people still have that shit in their house. Yeah. It's kind of gross. Yeah, and that and Zoo Pals, man, they really... Zoo pals. Oh, the zoo pals were like the, the plates. paper plates. Yeah, yeah. Where you, they got the ears for the mm-hmm. side dishes. The main. It was a party, man. I know you ate that. You ate on those plates until you were like twenty. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. How's everybody's week been? Good. <sighs> yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. It's the jet lag's wearing off. Coming back down to reality. Leaving for a wedding wait, this weekend. Still, wait, jet lag still from South Korea? I still feel like I'm always like an hour off where I need a nap in the middle yeah. of the day or I'm waking up just an hour too early. Like it's only been six hours of sleep. I That's, was wrecked for a long time after we got back from Japan. Like for me, jet lag's not bad coming back. It's always going there. Like <sighs> I, I'm re- really jet lagged when I visit anywhere. But coming back, I, it's like the best. Mm. I just need that one night's sleep and then I'm back. See, I'm the opposite. Because like right when I get there, just my adrenaline kicks yeah. in because I'm in a new place. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to sleep because I want to go out and see where I'm at. Takes too much time sleeping when you're out like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the week's been good. Good. Uh, been busy, but good. Um, he did such a dad now. He's working on his garage now. He's yeah. in, he's installing lights on the just top. He's garage. like hexagon lights. It looks like Shit. the Batman's like layer. In I there. know. Yeah, I just been. I've literally just been in the garage nonstop. Simulator all set up. Yep, everything's good to, to go. Come, it's been really hard to contact it. you too. I feel like you're always working now in your house somewhere. He's out driving. He's flying. Yeah. You flew to Egypt. I, you sent me a video of you flying yeah, over I, the pyramids. I was I was flying over Egypt this morning. Then I ended up over Bora Bora. We've we've pretty much been all over. Have you crashed yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and let me tell you, it is real. Is, oh, is, is it like scary real? Oh, your gut drops. You have like a mini... She, oh. was, she was flying over New York, giving you me a tour. Flying? I was flying. Does he know what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah I told him about oh, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think they know. They're oh, gonna be like, "What do you mean?" We've talked about it on Patreon. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, um, so you might want to. Explain yeah, I have a uh, like a racing simulator with like motion, so it feels super real, and uh, you could do like uh, racing games. You could do flight simulators. It's, it's stuff like, like the, that. it's like it's not like the cheap shit. It's like that big, big like yeah, setup with you're like sitting the whole... in a chair, and there's three TVs in front of you. And you can put this headset almost like an I Oculus I got like the on. VR for it that just came in and it oh. is mind blowing. Yeah, you put the headset on and you have all your gears in front of you and you look around and you have a passenger seat. You can look 360 around the whole um, plane and you can choose where to fly over. So his brother called him and he was flying over LA mm-hmm. and he showed us Toluca Lake. Oh, cool. And you can, it, everything's accurate. The houses are exact, like it's from like a Google map type thing. So they pull it and it's and it's so detailed like however long it takes you to fly it in real life with what plane at what speed out like everything is in the game yeah, so like if you wanted it's to slow like i'm like i just want to fly like a jet but he's like it's real like speed so like if i choose to fly new york i could technically sit in that chair for five hours and fly to la like fly through a building yeah. if you want to that, it, it'll be banned you. Rip, don't try if, it. If Wait, you, really? <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah, not good. Yeah, because they can log. They can log it. Like oh, that yeah. was a big thing about the Malaysian flight. About what happened was that the one of the pilots had was a magician. He, he did. <laughs> no, he did the, freaking for way. my next trick. <laughs> <And> that, <laughs> they could disappear. Well, he had done the route where they think like it landed, mm. where he veered off course. I think he had that in his flight simulator log that he had I did done not know that. that. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure that's Damn, so they're tracking me. So if you try to fly, can you like fly into my house on the mm-hmm. thing? You can oh. see your house overhead. Got what it, happens okay. if you try to fly over Area 51? Is it I haven't just tried blurred it out? Oh, I bet man. it's just blurred out. You probably can't do it. It ejects you out of your seat. <laughs> <laughs> you lose signal, it goes black. Uh, but yeah, she was flying over New York and she was like calling out all the buildings and the bridges Getting and everything. Got a nice little tour. Can you do a helicopter on there? You can, and the helicopter's insane because you're sitting there and you can like look out and like look down at the- Whoa! Now, and it's not like a joystick, like a game controller. You have your, what is it called? Yeah, it's the HOTAS. You you have like your- your throttle, like, well, you have your your throttle, and then you have it's still called like you a joystick. You have your right hand uh, on something, your left hand on something, and you're up. You gotta tilt. You gotta. It's you really can nose fun. dive into the ground. I think to overcome my fear of flying, I think I should, you should do it. I should do it, and I should do it like a lot. Uh-huh. Crash oh, a couple times, a little bit of turbulence, have my seat move. 
So the next time I'm on a plane and that shit happens, I will remember the simulator. There we, there we go. We'll do like six hour mock like yeah, flights. Yeah, like right long. Like, <laughs> do, like do the 24 hour challenge and just stay on that plane and just exactly. get through all the storms and hurricanes. Can you fly through like storms? You can yeah. set the weather, whatever you want. Like, so wow. there's, I was getting motion sickness. So is there an air traffic control mode where you're talking to other people online to... Um, and like, I'm do you not, have to be qualified for that? Because what if you like join in with a bunch of guys and they're like, "Oh, you don't even I, I know don't what the know fuck you're doing." I'm sure they're. I haven't gotten really into the, like the online stuff, but um, you can like fly with other people. Uh, usually, the air traffic control is automated, so like you still have to like taxi your plane and like yeah. a normal flight, but it's more role playing. Yeah, role playing computer simulation version. Okay. Like not, um, but I'm sure there is. A section of it where you can be that or whatever. Yeah, um, they got go kart on there. I don't know. Just like if you want to kind of chill, like not not, not be on fast. like the on the racetrack. You yeah. do like golf a cart bit. mode. Yeah, yeah. So like it, the, Mario think, Kart more. That would be sick. Mario Kart mode. Where so you basically, can, it's it's in a computer and the the seat can work with different games. So it's just like you playing a different game. Can you play a different game? Can you play like Mario yeah, Kart, like where you play POV? You could do like any driving game, anything where you sit in a car. Like you can use the controls. Yeah. That makes sense because it just goes through the, the display. And yeah, that's the control. When they do their next round in LA, like you know, when they're dropping off to Beyonce and Jay Z, do you think they could drop off Absolutely. one to me too? Okay, and I know I don't have like that brand where it's like you know I drive and show off my cars and shit, but like you you're think bit, they'll still give it to guy. me? Okay, I remember when I had Midnight Club Three or Midnight Club Dumb. Two yes. on. PS2 and my dad bought me the steering wheel and we would like set it up on a TV tray and I had the gas <laughs> pedal and I would like practice driving on the game, like paying attention to the yeah. stoplights yeah. and like following Dude, honestly, all the rules. a great thing for kids learning to drive. Yeah. You know, I uh, uh, half of my, like the songs on my iPod were from this uh, video game. Really? I would always save it. I'd always, I'd, because they would have the song playing and they'd have it on the, the bottom corner. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Every song that started playing, they yeah. would have it pop up. I just went and just like jotted it down just so I can download it later. Midnight Club, man. It just made me feel something. Do you have also a like a uh, manual control as well to like shift? Yeah, so I have the... a you can the you could do a H pattern or you can do sequential, um, and then I also have the clutch for it too. Dope. And then I have a, a handbrake now. Ah, yeah, 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 it's really cool. Damn, that's neat. You'll really enjoy it. I, I'm excited for you to try Does it. Does it take up a lot of power, or is it just like it's not that fine. bad? You can't hear it in the other room as well. It's in the garage, and the garage is separated. Okay. So the only time you would hear it is if we had, like, not using headphones, and I have it through the surround sound. Ah. Uh. That I had cranked up one day getting really into it, and she heard me down the street. She was coming home, and she was like, Yo, I can hear you a block away. Uh -huh. Yeah, you'll have to come, you'll have to come try it. That's awesome. Well, the, the TikTok ban happened. No. No, it's not. Well... That what they say is that obviously like you know they packaged it up with like a, what was it a foreign aid bill to like help Ukraine Israel and what other country was it? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna ban TikTok, but we're also gonna send three hundred billion dollars right in small because print. that's what it was like a bipartisan bill, so it was like going to get like an equal amount of support. It wasn't like one sided on either way. Mutual people were agreeing on it. So now that it's like passed, though they do have this nine months, but people are saying that Bite Dance will most likely sue the government, like it's saying that it's unconstitutional, which to, will go on for even a longer amount of time. And then that has to go, what, to the D.C. Court of Appeals and then to the Supreme Court. And, like, realistically, if it did happen, it wouldn't really go away until about, like, 18 months or two years. Wow. From what I've read. I know Vine didn't go through anything like that. They just shut it down, but... I felt like also Vine was this kind of cons or it, it, it took a long time for the app to fully delete, right? Yes. Because we were all off it at that point. We all knew it was coming and it was like, make sure to start saving all your content. Like you could have posted, be... but it's just that it was just kind of pointless posting. Yeah. For, everybody, for a while. Every, everybody before. was just trying to like move off the platform. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, but the whole thing though, even if it does sell, like China though still owns the algorithm. So they would basically be like, sure, you can have ByteDance, but you don't get the algorithm. And that's like the secret mm. sauce yeah. to why the app like works. And without that, they would have to build that from the ground up. And I don't they, know. Oh, they wouldn't give them give that to them? The code they of, bought I it? think like the, the code of the algorithm or what makes TikTok work and why people love it because it gives you yeah. exactly what you're into. But you can't like they, buy that? I don't think so. I think that they can like give them like the um, 
I don't know, I guess like the platform and all the users to still be on it, but they can right. still have their uh, copyright or... Mm. That's what, like, baby, you could buy a restaurant, but if that chef ain't staying... Mm-hmm. You don't get the recipes. That food's not going to be the same. All you get is the name in the building, huh? Mm-hmm. So it's still, I think, two years, 18 months from what I've read, if it really does happen. Okay, so let's say that TikTok is actually shutting down and everyone's l- l- like realistically have 18 months. Where's everybody moving to? YouTube, a, Instagram. That, it's tough to go from like TikTok to YouTube like that, unless like you're a giant creator and can move numbers like that. It's like a tough transfer. I feel like Instagram just needs to make their algorithm better. Yeah. You know? That'd be the next one because reels are becoming really popular Because that's now. the only platform I felt like, or in YouTube though, for like when you were on an Instagram app, there's the TikTok button, there's the YouTube button. Those yeah. are the two sites that they, if you're going to go somewhere- mm-hmm. We're shooting you to those locations. Yeah. So, yeah. And I'm see- I'm seeing a lot of like those Instagram, like there's a lot of like Instagram uh, skit people that make like those skits mm-hmm. or like just make videos in general. They're generating so many. I like cannot believe how many views. Yeah, their views are insane. Insane. And that's all they post. Like their whole page has not, is not a picture. There, there's no pictures anymore. Like I just went through a, a few like big influencers it's just straight videos yeah only only videos and the boomers are really getting on instagram reels really? my dad has been sending me reels like all the time yeah. like, i love this creator have you seen this guy most of the people yeah i've seen on like tiktok but he loves He's finding his them on instagram it's it's hitting his interest big time yeah because i mean instagram has kind of the algorithm thing working pretty well too i feel like you're big on instagram reels or i feel like you send reels a lot more than you I send TikToks. I, it's, 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 so it's a morning thing for me. If on in, like when I wake up, I go through Instagram Reels, and then later on in the day, I'll do TikTok. It's really weird. And I don't do that on purpose. I just happen to. Like yeah. Mariah, you get my you get my you when you get videos in the morning, it's from it's Instagram Reels, right? You too. When I'm sending Instagram Reels, yeah, and I don't open them. You guys don't open. You never ha ha. I, 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 I open. No, Zane, I don't. I open every single one of your TikToks Reels. I'm not there yet. You don't. It, it's just a tap away. I know, but I, it's, I'm with you because uh, if I get the text, it comes one at a time. If I open up a DM from you and there's like seven, I'm like, damn, they're probably good, but I need to save that for a like, second. It's good. It, like, you got to like yeah. click it and then you got to go back. When it's seven in a row, it's real good. Matt, I don't want to reply. I just want you to watch Just it. give me the ha ha just so I saw I, that you laughed and I you found it funny too. I don't have the time. It's a tap away. Same thing you're saying, a tap to them that they could just open it. I just, just give me a ha ha. I'm not giving you seven at a time. I don't have time for podcasts and I don't have time to reply back to TikTok. It's a tap. It's me. a ha ha. I want. I threw it in the garbage. I want to be. I want to be entertained. That's all I want in life. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a hundred years old, and I'm. I just want to be entertained. Make me laugh. Ha ha. I want to bring that up really quick. One of Heath and I's favorite quotes right now is, "I threw it in the garbage," oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is from Real Housewives of New Jersey. Teresa, if you're a fan, I and say it. I'm not joking. Like ten times a day. Yeah, What's um, the context of her saying it? What did she throw she in the garbage? She talks about how um, somebody brought. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, Bobby. You know what it is. <laughs> somebody brought sprinkle cookies to the party, and she was like. Melissa, nobody touched the cookies you brought. I threw them in the garbage. <laughs> you know what my favorite cookies are? Pignoli cookies. That's all I said. That's exactly what she says. But the, I threw it in the garbage. I threw it in the garbage. So Teresa has a daughter, Melania, and she's like a huge personality on the show. We ran into her at Coachella and we both... Like we pass each other and we both double took each other. And oh, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. It was just me. I oh. didn't see it happen. It was just her. We oh. walked by and me and Melania both like double took each other. And I was like, she's doing it to me. And I like freaked out over her. So it was like a really Whoa. cool moment. And then I told Heath, I was like, you're never going to guess who I just <laughs> ran into. And I was like, I threw it in the garbage, his daughter. <laughs> and he was like, no, it was really well, cool. I mean, what, tell us more. Like the, tell us the conversation. What was the, what was the vibe? Did you exchange? numbers no she's really young Uh i think she's like maybe 17 18 something like that i mean it's not like you're a creepy dude you're you're a married woman okay wait do you know the the sound waking up in the morning yes thinking about so many things her her sister sang it to her on her birthday wow wow Wow, mariah these are these are quite the celebrities that you ran into good television big fan big fan I think out of all reality TV, I think those are the only like those shows are the like they are re- like that's when I think of reality TV, 
that's all that's the only ones I think of and those are the only ones that should continue to like live on Real Housewives in reality TV world instead it's of like good. all these other shows that are just kind of like fucking the, the thing is like they're always like this and I feel like yeah. This is what made reality TV so entertaining was watching people like this and now everybody feels like they that aren't that type yeah. Yeah. feel like they need to It's put like that this on. era the Jersey Shore yeah. era like that wasn't like an act. It That's was authentic. just who they were. It's authentic. Now they're trying to replicate that nowadays. Yeah. Like, Can you just ham it up for the? They're like, I know when they came out of the floor, Bama Shore. I fucking oh, wanted to. That, it, see, that yeah, was the, that, that was that that was the first it. time I saw like a show trying to like just do it again, and it obviously you just see every on the show was like they weren't authentically like that. So it was just like they yeah. knew that they have to to make this because they wanted to be the next Jersey yeah, Shore. Yeah. That stinks. Like knowing that, like oh, okay, and I feel like so real. many people are getting onto these other reality shows. Similar, like the new Grand Cayman Island show. You have all of these like rich kind of housewives girls of the Grand Caymans. They're kind of competing though to be the next person on like a Real Housewives show. Yeah, like they make okay. them, they make a name for themselves on one show. And people they like the oh, they one. work on TV. Maybe let's cast her to be part of like the new member of the Real yeah. Housewives. It's like people are platforming trying to jump onto the net mm, to be yeah. on Real Housewives. You know what show was insane? And like, it was during our time and it was just like a show that we, like, if, if it came out now, we'd be like, this is not, like the biggest loser. Oh yeah. How insane was that show? Just put the, just put the big large person on the, on the scale and everyone's measuring, just like measuring their ways. And the way that and, the scale looked too, it wasn't it, discreet, man. It yeah. was like, a large like airport type like bu luggage ha -ha. scale, and then like if if they saw like positive two for like oh they gained a get pound or two, <laughs> get off just the scale. just everybody's face is just like the team's disappointed. Like you have to have like collective weight, like and, and like just watching the show, like how intense their workouts were, and like what they had to do. And Jillian Michaels just like <laughs> there with that like rock hard abs. <laughs> but man, I always knew though if I like was on that show, I would I would make it. Did they make end it? it? Big, biggest losers not on TV anymore. No way! I don't think they have a show like that now. The Biggest Loser. Well, I mean, they, probably if they changed it, but just the way they shot it. And then you would still get like eliminated if you weren't losing the weight, right? Yeah. Which was like, it's like we're not here for your health. We don't care. <laughs> I feel like if you get kicked off the biggest loser, you should as like a prize is you do get like a free personal trainer for the whole year. Yeah. Cause it would be cool for follow up to see like stick even though it didn't it. work on the yeah. show. Right. We're still allowing you not because that would make me just be like, Well, I'm not worth anything. Yeah. I'm not worth losing the weight. I'm just gonna like I'm not even the biggest loser. <laughs> like <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah. Did they win? Was there like a top prize? Was there money like on the biggest loser? I, I, I thought there was money in the end of it. No, no, I have no idea what the prize was. I mean, he, the things I would have done to like win first place, like if it was money involved, I would starve. Myself. I would do anything it took to get to first place. $250,000, 100%. You wouldn't you catch me your fuck, team? You wouldn't <laughs> catch me dead going sneaking in a brownie if that, was a, if that was the first place prize. Are you kidding me? And all I got to do is just lose weight. I would do anything I could, anything no. it took. Ozempic. I wonder if they were like trying to tempt them on the side, you know? Yeah, like, like just, how were some of them not losing weight? It's like, aren't we all in this? Oh, like, you think they would? You think they would test them by like placing like certain things? Cookie in, ball, they'd the cookies, have to like in the pantry. Because if they made it only clean food around them, then how are you? I don't know. Heath, that's so true. They were probably because leaving. if if like if I'm stuck in this house and I only have what's here, I will not eat bad. Were ever. they were they but stuck it, in a house or were they? There's just like Entenmann's donuts under like the kitchen <laughs> sink that you know are just stashed I, away he, there. He, I don't remember where like the location was where they would film these shows. Was it in like everybody was living together or was it by house? I don't know. If I was in this house and only healthy food, I would never gain weight. Like that's ever. what I mean. Like, it like, would be impossible for if me. They made the circumstances until I go to one of your guys' parties, and then there's a cookie. There's a cookie plate. Like I'm, I, I yeah. have to take one. I have to. So they have to be leaving shit around mm. to test these guys, mm. which is kind of fucked up. That's not the point of it. Those sisters seem to be doing well. The like trying to be in my size, the Amy. You don't know how it is. Was I it mean, my thousand pound sister? What was it called? I, I don't think the five hundred pound sisters. The, the show wasn't <laughs> them losing weight, right? It was no the thousand pound sisters. But they, pound they sisters. equally were like equally, a thousand pounds. Equally weighed each. a thousand were like pounds. Bordering on five hundred, but now it seems yeah. like both of them because it was Amy was the one who was slacking. Yeah, Amy was always the one holding her back. But they look great. But it looks like they are on and like or uh, like what? oxygen machines right now. Every time I've seen. A oh Amy. yeah, they've lost a ton of weight. Look at that. Or yeah, they look great. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Amy's looking better than her sister now. But, all that shit talking. But the headline says Amy Slayton is not focused on weight loss right now. So I mean, she because she's taking a break. You could plateau if you're if you're losing a lot of weight. You know, you got to have a little break sometimes. You do. You do have to treat yourself. Was yeah. that show all focused on them losing weight, or it was just their life? I think. Oh, I don't. I don't know. I just so because there was a lot of jokes in there. Yeah, I, it felt more like I felt like it was more of a comedy. I mean, yeah, it was more I like I, I mean, it's like those exploited people where they just realize, damn, we've got some characters on our hands. Let's just yeah. keep the camera rolling. <laughs> and, and, and how do you think they? How do they find them? Uh, submission. Imagine stuff. Pitching oh, so that they, idea. Sub, they people, submitted themselves. People oh, okay. also go out to places and they just find like <laughs> that's anybody. crazy. To me, that you go Imagine hang out around a bar you, in a small town, you're gonna run into some people who need to be on a reality <laughs> show. Like you're the person. Okay, go walk up to them. Go pitch them the show. Hey, so we're thinking about doing a show about. We're gonna call it Thousand Pound Sisters. Are you guys in? With how funny <laughs> That's they a were, fucking crazy <laughs> approach. Yeah. No, with, with, with how funny they were, though, I think they were like so down for that. And they, you know what? They probably came up with the idea. Poor Honey Boo Boo, though. Her mom like spent all of her money. Oh, I saw that. Oh, shame on her. Shame on you, it was Mama whole, June. It was a whole thing where she want she needed the money to. Uh, what was it for her to go to? Uh, well, there's always that like fund. I forgot the name of it. That child stars. Uh, have to put like legally. I yeah. feel like they have to put money and locked away in. And Mama June told uh, a little honey boo boo that she would get it by the time she turned eighteen. Yeah, and she turns eighteen and finds out it's all gone. Oh, yeah. Ugh. It was a lot of money too. That sucks. It, all the the money maker was honey boo boo. She's the one that brought in all yep. the money. That's so sad. Really sad. Hopefully she catches a good stride. How old is she now? Remember, eight, I, were you with me when I met her? No. Was I with you? I don't know. I don't know who was with me, but I I, I remember I met her and we took a selfie. I I think it was like I was that was the first time I was like starstruck, starstruck in yeah. L.A. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, see, yeah, because I just like recognized her from the the show and I was like, oh my gosh, that I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Bonifa and Sight. I was like, oh my god. That's the saddest thing about these reality shows, though. They come and find these people who are, you know, not living in the best financial situation. Yeah. Offer them this incredible financial opportunity that's getting millions and millions of views on TV that they can't hire a financial manager on behalf of the show just to ensure that their talent is spending their money wise, wisely and setting them up for financial success. You're talking it about the show like provides the that like it seems, Like they take a back seat, like we'll give you the check and let's just see what happens. That's <laughs> yeah. not our responsibility. Yeah. I mean, I think that also happens with so many athletes when they give their first paycheck. The th they the thing go is out that and spend it like They crazy. were probably advised to do that, but at the same time, financial advisors are very expensive too. So like I could see them going, no, why spend the extra money on somebody handling our money when we could just do it our own and especially if mama june was going to do that and be be shady with it i don't want to she's not going to want a financial advisor over her shoulders seeing what she's doing and also at the same it... time like your financial advisor can they're just there for advising like how yeah. many times have you been like i want something and yeah. your guy's like no and you're like well, well i'm gonna it, take, it takes I, a little I bit he's it. he's he's strict i mean at this point he's like it's, yeah it's more his than mine i will we will fight if i just then, ran a talent network where i was like i really these people aren't maybe the most financially like intelligent people out there yeah but just to make ourselves so good and give us the peace of mind because it's not good press knowing that i as the producer made millions off these people that, that's and not, they still lost it that's everything not off their own that. mismanagement and yeah that i understand that is their responsibility but it breaks my heart that there isn't something yeah. set in stone to look out for them. but i know there's i know there's like laws being put in place right now like stricter laws about like what honey boo honey boo just went through with like these child actors, like where that money's going and that, right? Yeah. Isn't that Allison, in well, Allison Stoner, isn't that what she's working on right now? I know she's working on this thing where it's for to protect child actors yes. from from losing all their money. Yes, when that they get to the age exploited. Of. Yeah, just making sure that they're more financially taken yeah. care of, even on behalf of like the the studios that are paying like, them out. I might have making some sure that it is. Kids myself. Okay. Would like you? Would six, you? Six kids on a show. Would you? Like have, would you be a stage? Like no, I, no, 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 no. I would I, never I, be a stage parent where my kid is on like a Nickelodeon or Disney show. But if my kid had some good acting chops, like Jacob Tremblay, yeah, and I could know he could deliver scenes, and he's doing Oscar nominated films. One movie a year. If he had the chops, 
I, and, I and like, like, how do you know that? You know what I mean? Like, how how can you tell before you start putting him in auditions that, like, oh, wow, he's a star? Is it his character? Is it the just, way he's, like, you if, just know. if he's quick? Like, is he, like, a like he comes back with something quick They're as a kid? They're just mature. And, but the sad thing is, though, with those, like, mature child actors, they the reason why they are the way they are is because they've spent a lot of time around adults. You know, if they're doing, like, those stage productions and they need a kid role, he's spending all of his late hours yeah. not doing daycare or going to a club around other kids. He's hanging out with other adults, so he picks up on their mannerisms, how they talk. They're really charming. And they understand what the scene calls for. I must have been with a sad. bunch of babies. When I, <laughs> you I, must I must have been hanging out I'm with babies. Just, <laughs> just idiots. I didn't pick up from any adults. Any adults. Hey, goo goo. My guy. God, fucking goo goo. <laughs> <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, Prize Picks. And if you live on a rock and you don't know what Prize Picks is, Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with more than mm-hmm. three million members, baby. It is the easiest and most exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. You just pick more or less on two or more player stats and watch the winnings roll in, baby. And you can now win up to a hundred times your money on Prize Picks with as little as four correct picks. You could turn Ten dollars into a thousand dollars with basketball, hockey, and college basketball entries today on Prize Picks, and that's why it's America's number one fantasy sports app. And Prize Picks has something for every sports fan, from basketball and hockey to League of Legends and everything in between. You can pick LeBron, Caitlin Clark, Connor McDavid, and Jude Bellingham all in the same entry. And Prize Picks is the best way to get action on sports in more than thirty states across the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia. And and catch this. You want to play alongside some of Prize Picks' favorite players like Meek Mill and Sugar Sean O'Malley? Mm-hmm. You can now find community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entries from some of the biggest names in the Prize Picks community each week. And Prize Picks even offers injury insurance so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, Price Picks will have your back and not count that as a loss. And the best part is that Price Picks is really simple to play. You can make your picks and submit your entry in less than 60 seconds. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and enormous selection of players and stat types are what make Price Picks the number one fantasy sports app. And my favorite part is that Price Picks offers Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits into your account this basketball season. So easy, just pop, pop, boom, money in the account. Just like that. So for my picks this week, baby, I'm going to pick Seth Curry for more than 29 points and Nikola Jokic. If you're listening, Nikola, for more than 10 rebounds. So if you're ready to get in on the action, all you have to do is download the app today and use code UNFILTERED for a first deposit match up to $100. One more time so you don't forget. Download the app today and use code UNFILTERED for a first deposit match up to $100. That's right, baby. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. And thank you, Prize Picks, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. I saw this TikTok that was like, uh, it's a little unethical way to get rid of junk. So instead of buying a huge dumpster removal tank to come in, which is like 300 bucks. Just go buy a storage unit, put all your junk in there, and then stop making the payments. And then they just have to auction and get rid of that junk. Oh, oh, wait, that's genius. Yeah, it's unethical because you're like finding a loophole and making somebody else's problem your, your problem someone else's problem. I get it. A lot of them make you do like a three month, uh, minimum oh but also i think the whole point about the whole junk stuff is the fact that you still have to like transport it so if you're going to load it in a truck to take it to a that all costs storage money. shed you you could just oh, take it damn to a i didn't think about that when i watched the tiktok i get it though but like if you're going to haul it away haul it to the dump the loophole is not that worth the reward but like it's it's just, i guess if you lived much. right across the street from yeah, a storage yeah, yeah. facility yeah exactly that would be do you still have your storage unit i do What's and I, I still put stuff in it like every month. It's crazy. Like Leah t- tells me that there's still still so much room in there with those sliding glass doors that I. Yeah, I went there. Why did I go there one time? To my storage unit? Yeah, probably I, to pick I, up stuff that you had in there. Probably. Because we, we like kind of all shared it. Yeah, I think and that's I, what I, it was. I think I, right now I share it with Todd too. Wow. There's just so much stuff in there. How much do there. you pay a month for it? When I got it first, I was paying like 150 bucks a month. Oh, that's not that bad. But now oh, it's well. probably like what, 200, 250? Because like prices have gone up, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Like just being able to keep stuff, but like it's out of sight, out of mind. Like that's why I have nothing in the house because it's all in storage. I just want to go to a storage wars. I want to see the bidding on like. I don't, I don't get how people get that opportunity. 
I want to spend two hundred dollars and buy whatever's in a storage shed, and then I have to break the lock, and whatever's in it is mine. I think oh. there's certain Instagram accounts where they'll like tease it, and they show you what's in it, and they go, "Come here on Saturday if you want to bid on whatever this looks like." I think they'll show you what the inside looks like. Before. But if that was me opening it up, I'd go pick whatever's good. You know? Yeah. I want I want the ones that are locked up. They go, "This has been abandoned. We don't know what's in it." Is this and is this all just to cover their own costs for the person ditching their payments, or they try to make it like a little bit of extra money? I definitely on make those. a little bit of extra money. I feel like it's really nothing for them. I don't know. There's so many. You know what minutes. I mean? That's Damn. so fun that I would spend this money on like, like on uh, on storage units like that just for the fun. It'd be such a good video. Every video, like you unlock a. You break a lock off of one you just bought for like 200 bucks. And like, let's see what we got <laughs> in here. 10 bucks. Wow. But then you got to have a whole nother unit to take all that stuff to yeah. and then be able to sort it, list it on like, eBay. Like, I'll buy it, but can I keep it here? Yeah. <laughs> and is that a whole, like, is that a whole business or people are buying this just because they genuinely think that whatever's in there is cost? Oh, like, no, it's a dude, whole they're, business. They're gold, it's a business. They're gold hunting. Just, yeah, they just upselling. It's like pawn shops. They... Buy stuff just to resell. Hopefully, it's worth something. They find a Tonka truck from 1975 in there that some old rich guy wants to buy. So, for me, it's like, how do you find the time? Like, if there's no way that you have a job and you do this on the side. No, I think that's someone's job full time. Just full time. That. Definitely. I mean, people buy, like, mystery boxes for YouTube all the time. This is a great thing. Yeah. My dad, one time, when he was in college, there was, like, this comic in, like, one of the Dallas newspapers that was called, like, Doonesbury. And he loved it so much, but they would put poster inserts in newspaper stands, right? Like you go up to a newspaper yeah, stand yeah, yeah. and they would put an insert and this was like a promotional thing they were doing for this comic strip. My dad went around town and just stole all the poster boards. And so he's always had them. And then he listed one on eBay and it sold for like like $200 or something. Whoa. And he was curious about who bought this poster. Uh -huh. And he looked it up and it was one of like the co-creators of The Simpsons. Really? Wow. He was like, oh shit. He should have just like not even done the bidding war and like maybe just put it up with just a fixed price to yeah. Does he have but, more? Uh yeah. Oh yeah. My dad has like a huge stack of them. Yeah. That yeah he's I just... used to do that with the uh Xbox uh Xbox Live cards that were in Blockbuster. Oh you get yeah. like a free month subscription. Wait, that comes with like when you buy it? Every new game back then used to come with the Xbox Live card inside of like that little Oh sleeve. yeah, it's like the normal thing that you get in every box. So yeah, you but buy you get it every what? month. So what we used to do is you'd go into like GameStop or a Blockbuster and you just open all of them up and you just take them because that Yeah, they were the just thinking about the disc, you know? So you would just, but every time when the trial would go up, you would just make a new screen name yeah. and then keep it going. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that? That was the secret of the pros. If I told you, then I'd be direct competition. I wouldn't tell anybody about it though. Yeah, but you'd be take, you'd be cutting into my. I always loved uh, like leaving Target and there would be like the AOL stand that had all the free like CDs for like an AOL subscription. Yeah. But you would take those home and then you could make wall art. Like you would make your name with like thumbtacks of like the CDs just reversed. So it was like this cool hack to like decorate your room uh, with the AOL CDs turned around. The case? It was just like a, no, with the CD, you would take the CD out of the package and uh -huh. then you would turn it around where it's just oh, a little, yeah, and then you'd yeah, stack it, it and maybe do your initials in your room because you would steal like a pack of 20 of mm. them. He was one of those CD initial mm. guys. I've, I've seen that in a couple of rooms. I mean, I was 10 years old. No, no, I know. No, I'm just like, I can, I can picture it in the rooms that I've seen in the past. Just oh, like the, C, just go, the CD initial. And we would go dumpster diving and blockbuster to get like old movie posters and then bring those back and like tack them up in your room. That was so much fun. Or the uh, the big cardboard cutouts. Yeah. <laughs> I never knew where people got posters for their room because I like I would go to uh, like friends' house and they like their walls just filled with posters and I always got jealous. Like I want my room to Magazines. look like this. And but the, I the didn't know I didn't know ones. that though. So I thought the only place to get posters was from like uh, from Spencer's. Yeah, yeah. you go to so, Walmart, uh, you look uh, at all of the. You, they like clacking back and forth. There'd be the girl in yes, the bikini this. and your mom would be nearby. You'd be like, close it real quick. <laughs> and then she'd leave and you'd be like, let me look at that again. <laughs> so options were limited. Yeah. Spencer's was like one cool one. And the the rest were just like psychedelic weed and mushroom. Yeah. Like you worked work at a Spencer's, didn't you? Yeah. For, for like for more than a year. Maybe two years. I was, I feel like I was there for a while. Yeah. I remember you worked there because I walked in and I was like, yeah. Oh, Heath works here. 
But that was like we weren't that close. Mm-hmm. Oh, I picture Zane walking in there when you weren't really friends, and you're like, "Okay, Heath works here." Like, what if you told yourself in that moment you guys would have a podcast together right. in so like weird. 15 years? Heath, remember I was uploading Vine through a computer through laptop when yeah. we hacked it. Remember I was on the bed at the Brookstone bed, and I was yeah. sitting there editing. Like, I don't know how we were. He allowed used to, do to that. come into Brookstone and like edit, edit the vines on the bed that we had in store. <laughs> just, Whoa! Just, just kicking his feet, <laughs> just kicking back because he was like, he was, he was way up there in Brookstone. He was like under the manager, but like they all liked him, so like I was a lot of like you know kind of be around. I was assistant to the manager, Mr. Stone. You kept getting promoted, but your money wasn't being promoted. <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, here's more just responsibility more, more for tasks. the same price. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. They can't get away with that shit now, right? No. I mean- When you get promoted, like you have more tasks, but the, the pay doesn't change? I mean, I'm I sure- just, It's a resume booster. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then you get to so, show your next job that you were a manager or whatever. I remember I was telling stories out of work for free just to like, just to, just for them to hire me. Like I'd work here what? like for a because Man was I, watching Gary V back I, I wa- in the day. I wanted a job so bad. You're no. just going in folding shirts and they're like, It Sir? was just hard. It was like back it was like hard to find a it job. Was. That's why that's why I worked at Forever Twenty One because no nowhere else was like mm-hmm. hiring. So I worked at Forever Twenty One, but before that I was just like I was desperate to get a job that wasn't at a, a restaurant. Because I hated working at restaurants. Oh, I just too. was bad at it. I would drop everything. Me too, man. Hot Mexican butter right down my <laughs> whole shirt. Yeah. Dropped a drink on a baby's head. Your skin starts smelling like the food. Your skin. Like, Ugh. I couldn't even wash it off me. Ugh. That's how bad it was. <laughs> then I got to work with a bunch of girls. Speaking of um, editing in Brookstone and massages and everything, I, um, I'm sad to tell you guys that I- Please don't quit. I think I'm. I think I'm in the beginning stages of carpal tunnel. Oh yeah. Oh, what's arthritis. Ca- what's carpal tunnel? <laughs> it's when you drive through a tunnel with two people in with a car. A yeah, right. The te- it's a Tesla <laughs> one in Vegas. <laughs> the carp eyes are like the uh, tendons in your um your wrist, and carpal tunnel is like what they call like a almost like secretary wrist. People who work at computers and you're doing a lot of stuff, it causes like tension. You, wait, or why no? would you get that? Yes, or yes is yes. that not right? <laughs> oh. Why would you wait? Or wait, am I wrong about do- that? No, he just said, "Why would you get that?" When oh. are you doing this? Uh, Stoon all the time. Um, yeah. So anyway, well, that's the problem with those Apple keyboards. I don't know why the they, flat the flatness like, of it is not uh, proper to how like our um, wrists should be uh, computing. Wait, I'm I mean, sorry, I'm so like, what is the? Oh, you're serious? Asking? It's 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 yeah, very I it's have, very I don't know it's what very that is. painful. So in, like, let me sh- let me show you. He needs a visual. Do you see, so I am clicking with my middle finger. Like when you're, you're using the mouse, you're clicking. Like I'm like cut, cut, space, Mm -hmm. cut, cut. Look, look up here when I move my middle finger. Do you see that muscle twitching? Yeah. That is like, I have to stop editing recently and I have to rest my arm because it won't let me work anymore. Look, if you want to quit, just tell us. <laughs> I'm just saying. It, it, it finally you know what that came. means? That means I need to take a break for three that months. That means I need a workers' comp. <laughs> yeah. So it's in my wrist and my like forearm area, and I've never. It's bothered me before, but it's never gotten to the point where I had to act physically stop. Got it. I do have a massage machine that does like little. It it's kind of like not acupuncture, but it has like those yeah. like sharp dots inside of it yeah. and uh-huh. it massages and it squeezes my whole arm and it gets like the blood flowing again and then I can start again. Oh, well. So if you notice, I've been taking a little longer to get I, stuff I, done. I, I know, I feel bad. And I know, no, exa- no. I know what you, I know what you're doing right now. <laughs> don't, no, no, don't feel Give bad. Give her a break. No, like, <laughs> let her rest. I wasn't trying to go for that. I was trying to think of a title <laughs> I, I for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> She's been diagnosed. <laughs> She's <laughs> Sir, Mariah, I was literally thinking diagnosis. of a title. No, no, like, no, that honestly makes me feel like I feel very sad. No, 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 no. That's what the principal in Mean Girls has is like carpal tunnel. Yeah, she's well, the He's cast. like, my carpal tunnel he came back. Cast. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Which I think though is because he was injured actually like before filming and they were like, we need a reason why oh, you're shit. in a cast. Oh, and that's really? why he's like, because there's no, it's a silly oh, thing. Oh, there's no how reason for him to be in, the, yeah. in a cast. Like, they're like, how was your summer? It's like, well, I got divorced. Well, my carpal tunnel came back. That's like, an interesting detail that I never realized that like it, he didn't need to be in that. Yeah, because I because I thought that too when I when I was younger I just accepted it but as I got older I go that makes no sense why would they add that in there right you should be carpal tunnel girl like on the podcast in the podcast world <laughs> is would that be it. carpal tunnel like I I do feel it in my wrist but it really the pain is up here oh do you know what the, like is that arthritis it's your radia ulna it's your own your carpi 
radial ulna. I don't know. I thought carpal tunnel is more in the wrist than it is. It is, but it's I, all connected. Like it's my middle finger. Like you can see it moving with my middle finger. That's what's triggering it. So it's when I'm, it's my fingers, but it's hitting that up there. Oh, interesting. Because it's all connected. Do, do, do you think using a mouse would help? Probably. Wow, a mouse. When's, the last, when's the last time you used a I know, mouse? I, I should actually try that. Do you feel any pain right here in like your middle two fingers right there? Okay. No. I know that's like trigger finger or like Yeah, because there's there's carpal tunnel exercises and I was doing them. I'm like, this isn't helping the right spot. Uh, it's almost it making not, it worse. It may not be I'm, carpal I'm tunnel. I'm very curious. Have you, uh, have you uh, gone to physical therapy or they don't, you're not there yet. Not we should sure. get just a, a few more episodes. You'll get. You there. can get a brace and just start like working with a brace on. Just I, ha to... I have one. It just doesn't go. Like it doesn't do anything. I have it for like my wrist, and it just doesn't. I should try to get a mouse. Yeah. So that I'm just you, doing. I feel like you're gonna hate it at first because it's so you. I mean, the mouse pad is so good. Yeah. Just It knows exactly where you want to be. It'll take some time, but they just have like certain settings on mouse pads or on mouse like mouses where once you get it right. <laughs> It's, yeah. It feels so much better, like, for your wrists and everything. Thankfully, I'm pretty good with my left hand, too, so I can just, like, I have this one in the massager, and my left hand, I can, like, get yeah. through, like, 20 minutes, but... Just overworked and underpaid. <sighs> Did any of you I'm not do? underpaid. <laughs> Did any of your grandparents, like, great-grandparents have, like, severe arthritis? My where, like, the knuckles were, like, well, buckled out like You know that? what's weird? I think I've said this on the podcast before. There's times where... At the corner of my eye, I have to like look down at my hand because I see my grandmother's hands, <gasps> and her hands were both her hands were like this. My oh, yeah. my grandmother's like huge yeah. knuckles, and it was like she just it was like yeah. My uh, my teacher in high school, her she had it really bad, like it curled back like this, and her hands stayed like that. So she had to like That's so sad. work like that, and both her hands were like that. It and could be tendonitis, sweetie. Oh, you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably that. My brother and my dad has tendonitis. Is that? Genetic? Is it running the fan? Oh, yeah. it it like it Secretaries does. on like those typewriters back in the day Oof. where it was like such Ooh. a deep like uh, keystroke in yeah. a way where they had to punch and down to get it mm. every time and having to do that over and over it's and over. It's crazy how deep of a press you have to do on those typewriters. And if you messed mm. up once, got to redo it or and like we, wow. have respect to the secretaries. I just got sent that there was a robbery reported at Jonah's Kebab. 50, what? 58 minutes ago, police are responding to a report of a woman attempting to take money out of the register Susie. at Jonah's Kebab. Hold on. There's a, Wait, that's crazy. There's an audio clip. Wait, damn it, citizen. Oh, it says I have to upgrade to listen to the full. Oh, I see it. Transcript. And then 59 minutes ago as well. <laughs> oh, see, that's oh, where they to... pay Can, for this it. This is ridiculous. Damn. That's crazy. It's our safety. It's our safety. So Wait, that's that's a little it's silly. So dumb. Well, can one of you pay for it so we can listen to it? All right, we'll wait for the update. Oh shit! Wow. Trying to steal money from a kebab place is like pretty. There's just a lot better <laughs> locations. No, no, like it. There, it just doesn't make sense. Sounds like just like a crazy person. Either a crazy person with or highlights, like, or it's like targeted. Thirty-five year old woman. They said. Yeah. Female. Wonderful. Get an update. Don't people know? No, nobody deals with cash anymore. I feel like every register is empty. Nobody. You're not going to get a lot. A, You're not yeah, going to get a lot from a, a register. Card. It doesn't seem like she's armed though, right? Because it'd be an armed robbery. Oh, wait. Yeah. She was. No, it doesn't. Oh, it sound, doesn't. No. They just said she was throwing stuff. Give me the cash. Or maybe it was like, you didn't give me enough sauce. Probably. Remember that incident yeah. at the one place where was it in New York City? Your honor. <laughs> Your honor. If the sauce was charged too much, then maybe all of us here would be a little upset, huh? Make the sauce free. Make the sauce well, free. Well, maybe it did come down to the sauce. That Jonas Kebab sauce is pretty good. Were you the one, the type to keep sauce packets in your fridge and then you put it like on your yeah. other fridge? Oh, yeah. Really? We had an entire pullout drawer in our uh, fridge back home that was dedicated to all different sauces from- That would be pretty- Like, like, like for joints. taco nights, if you made your own tacos, but that's you put what, the yeah, taco that's Bell sauce- That's what, yeah, that's all we had. They do sell Taco Bell sauce, though, sometimes at grocery stores, depending on which one you go to. Depending on the season. And I heard that Walmart's like store brand sauces, they have like a uh, like a cane sauce dupe. They got a oh. Chick-fil-A sauce dupe, and apparently they're pretty on point, like close to the real the thing. The Chick-fil-A sauce, what is that made out of again? What's the ingredients? I think it's like ingredients? honey mustard, but like 
a little. Oh, it's all it's all like the juice. secret sauce, like the mustard, ketchup, uh, mayo. That's yeah. Thousand Island dressing, baby. Did you see the guy who cracked the code though about uh, chilies? Chilies. I hope yeah, it's good because I love chilies. So, like every fast food restaurant now, like if you wanted to go to McDonald's and just eat by yourself, you're spending fifteen bucks. Mm-hmm. Like no matter what, for like a burger, fries, and a drink, okay. it's so expensive now. Chili's has um, a, like a one person deal that's ten dollars. You get an appetizer, a entree, like your burger. That comes with a side of fries and a drink. It's the three for me deal. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, you get a beverage, you get an appetizer, and your main course. Ten bucks? I think it's ten bucks for the burger one. Crazy. He, you went to the cheapest one. one. That probably tastes like ass. It's a burger. It's, it's the crispy it's a, chicken it's sandwich. It's a real burger. burger. Chili's burgers ain't oh. that bad. Have you ever? I've never had a Chili's burger. I haven't had one since I was a kid, but I remember them being Dude, not, Chili's not bad. Chili's is banging, man. The bacon chicken ranch quesadilla. Oh, yes. And ch- chipotle honey chicken crispers. Southwestern egg rolls. Come on. Sold, man. Every time. I like, I like when she gets you hyped. It's, D- it's dude, fun to see. It's just like Chili's is just a, a, an amazing memory for me. It is. It was like the first place you would go out to eat with friends when you had like. The, pa- the passion. It, it's yeah. the but passion. You, you know what it's like. It's like yeah. your first time going out to eat it's a without home base. your parents there. Yeah. Yeah, that's the chips and salsa, sipping on the beer with it, margaritas. After you just done a recital, where are you going? Yeah, You're going to Chili's. Man. Going to Chili's. I love Chili's. I, last time I ate at Chili's was the day I proposed to Patricia. <laughs> really? really? Yeah, because my, my brother picked me up and I just had time to kill him. The day you propose, you think me- mentally it's all you're thinking about. My brother's like, let's just go get your mind off something. Let's go have Chili's. Chili's. We had some Chili's. Dude, that could be a commercial, man. Yeah. Wait, which Chili's did you go to? The one in Encino. Okay. There's one at the end of my street. Nice. I get Accessible. it. Accessible. A lot. He said when he orders it and he gets to his house, it's like hot, like he ordered it at the it's restaurant. It's right down. It, it's, it's so close. I want to get drunk up in a Chili's. I feel like every time I go, it's like, oh, we're having a drink, but- you we're, haven't been drunk in a Chili's? I, not long enough to like enjoy maybe being a Chili's for three hours oh, and see man, what happens. I, I'm, I I'm there for the meal and maybe one or two drinks, but I'm not like at the bar partying. I remember back in Chili's, we used to, used to be able to smoke up in the Chili's, man. Have a no, sick. No, you did. When? Oh, Ooh. in like at least 1999, you could smoke up in a Chili's. You had a Chili's in 1999? Yeah. My mom oh, yeah, they go was back. wrangling up the smoking sections on... No Every way, I didn't fast know she food Would she leave you guys? Would you guys go sit in the smoking section or would she? No, we were the whole family in the smoking section. She'd have the ashtray right in between the mashed potatoes. Uh. <laughs> Just, Sometimes I'd <laughs> get into the mash. Did I ever tell you my A little mom, bit of ash with your mash. The mad, ash mash. I know we talked about like my mom smoking during the pregnancy for me. Right. Did, did you know that she had um, a smoking room when she was giving birth? In the hospital? Me? In the hospital, about smoking. They had smoking rooms for pregnant women right when they're giving birth. So my mom, I think it's a. You know what? I don't see bad in that at all. It's just crazy to think that in the hospital, like, like, do you want your delivery room to be yeah. smoking or non? It's supposed to be the most. She says smoking, please. Yeah, and to be like a place where it's supposed to be the most sterile environment. Ever. I don't know. It's Is it that harmful poo. to the baby? It was well, a different time. It's not. Good. It's definitely uh, if, not. If I was pregnant, if I was a, if I was a female and I was pregnant for nine months and I haven't smoked at all, but I'm I'm very stressed out. I'm about to have a baby come out of me. Right. I'm smoking a goddamn cigarette you, the whole fucking time until that thing comes out. Yes. Do you remember that episode in Breaking Bad where Skylar is like pregnant and she goes out to the car and has a cigarette yeah. when mm-hmm. she's pregnant? You're like, everybody's damn. Like, oh. Yeah. Oh. What, Walt? <laughs> Anna Gunn, man. I would pay money for Anna Gunn just to yell at me. Yeah. It, it's <laughs> Matt's face. Shut up. Shut, Shut up. up. That, like, I had such a love-hate relationship with her. Like, yeah. I just loved her as an actress, and she just killed You need role. to respect me, Walt. She, she never had a good day. You man. think her and Walter still, like, hang out? Well... I'm not Walter spoiling the, the ending. Sorry, no, I meant Walt like Jr. I meant no, I meant in real life. Mom, why are you smoking? I meant in real life. In real life, you think they're ever grabbing grabbing lunches? I don't know. You, yeah, you I think, think? Re- I bet the Breaking Bad cast. Yeah, they. 
I don't know. I feel like a lot of actors, we think that they're all so close, but they're actually not that close. It's just like work in the end of the day. Mm, yeah, well, maybe. Jesse and Walt have the they tequila. They have the tequila, tequila company and together. And, yeah. Which I will say this, uh, I will die on this hill. That shit should have came out the last year that they were filming Same with Los Poyos Hermanos. They were way too late on that. Way too late. It seems like they're still around though. I feel like I see yeah, Los Poyos. Yeah, but it should have been out like... Way faster. They lost. They lost in millions, millions. But they made hundreds of millions. Maybe helped no, they billions didn't. off of no Breaking Bad. It was the top. No, show. I'm not talking about the show. I'm talking about the, po- the, oh. the just just the the. Does Vince Gilligan they- make money off of Los Poyos Hermanos? Uh, probably like a. Well, he's directing. A director doesn't make that. I think it's like the who the writer whoever came up with that. No, yeah. you know how much money McDonald's makes a day. <laughs> I don't. I no. I do not know. Tell me. I think it was sixty-five million a day. That's it <laughs> across yeah. all locations. Oh, you know what David told me the other day? How how much money do you think Amazon makes? Sixty-three million a day. Amazon? No, McDonald's. Oh. Sixty-three million a day. Okay, now go to Amazon. My number I would say was a bill. <laughs> my number was so low from what I said, I couldn't believe. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold there on. There you go, Matt. Don't look. Don't look. Oh. Did you look already? Well, I said a billion. Oh, okay, yeah, it's one point three billion dollars daily. Daily makes sense. Daily, you kidding me? I think I'm a billion of those. <laughs> you kidding me? I want to see more. I want to see some more uh, influencer campaigns for Amazon. Amazon should be paying everybody. They don't even need to advertise, no, look, man. I, they no, know you're going to use Amazon it. Amazon has enough money to not only end like every type of like just hunger, world hunger, help every country, but not only that, but provide more money to just everybody in the world, and then they would still, they would still fucking kill it. One point three billion dollars uh, a day is in. I'm curious how much of that. Well, that's like sales, probably. Right. I don't. Then you have to the, like the cost of the items. You've got all your employees. You've got the, the locations. Trucks, you've got the warehouses. I'm I'm so curious. Okay, cool. A billion a day. Do you ever a see day like in if you're ever out driving early in the morning? Do you ever see at a gas station all the Amazon trucks like fueling up for the day? Oh, they go to like normal gas stations. Yes. I feel like they would have their own gas pump at their stations before they go it's, out. Heath and I it's, always it's see cool to like, see them all roll out at the same when time. When they're too. rolling out of the building, it's like just a mob and then they'll sit at the gas station together and they take every pump and they're all standing out and they're like, hey. hey. It's really cool. I'm not up that early. I've never seen that in my life. <laughs> hey, if Look you're listening this. right now and you're an Amazon driver, is it like, is it a chill job? Do you guys enjoy it? Is it like... I would have so much fun doing that. Is it true that they made their routes um, only right turns? I know that for uh, mailmen, they only make right turns. That's... That that might be what I'm thinking of. Mailmen only make right turns on their routes. Right, Ma? Is it is it because just because faster, safer, or like all of the above? Um. Well, no. So oh, oh, avoids crashes. It it avoids from like you having to like wait at a light to turn left. I think it's also d- I don't, a, a dump trucks. Maybe it's uh, garbage trucks as well. Do that. It's like that's not sa- saving a ton of time having to make a left turn. Think about how long you get stuck waiting at lights to have to turn left in LA. And that's gas being spent. Like someone As opposed figured to just out. pulling up to a light and immediately turning right. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to wait for like four cycles. Like still- for me, I think what's more important is that that, that, uh, that car doesn't get into an accident. Like, am I like, how do you, how can we avoid accidents by all this, all these people's mails? You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like that's like, to me, that's, that is, that feels more like a, a main reason why. And so I mean, I think like it, no, faster. I think it, it, it's all, it's all of it is taken into account. And they realize that's like a way to save money, we, prevent accidents. Should we take a truck and make a left turn and like make everybody like <laughs> shock everybody when they see one making a left turn? 90% of turns made by UPS delivery trucks are right turns. And that's intentional. Left turns are seen as inefficient because they leave trucks sitting in traffic longer. Mm. No, I think I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> you like this actuary scientist like <laughs> yeah just my just i just liked my reason better i want to take a field trip where like i'm at home i place an order for something that says it's gonna get here the next day first thing in the morning mm-hmm. i want to be picked up i want to be taken to the warehouse what happens and watch how the do package? you get it so quickly that'd be really interesting i'd, I'd want to like do that i'd want to experience that for sure like as soon as it gets ordered, i, I want to show up to that. the place and just make my way like, back to my how house. How do you get my how do you get my package? The the everything. There's warehouses everywhere though, right? There's warehouses that have everything yeah. that you see on the Amazon store all in the, but I just don't understand how big are these warehouses I where know. they can fit. Massive. They're huge. 
Massive. Huge. Bigger than we than than I than I think, right? Yeah. That much shit, like, like you know, a, when you're driving out to Coachella and like you pass those massive warehouses, like you know the Skechers one, they they just go on for forever. The Palm oh, Desert. I wouldn't know, Matt. I fly oh, because you now. only fly the jet every time. Yeah, we yeah, fly I, over yeah, it, and we, we're not looking because we're busy drinking champagne on the flights. So yeah, we're not looking out the window. Like, why do I feel like that's not big enough? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Why do I feel like it? That doesn't big look big enough. No. How does it have every little I could thing? see all the shoes in Amazon fitting in that warehouse, like but I don't could, see anything else fitting in You could in buy there. a house on Amazon. Where's so that? You, you could buy, like, you could buy <laughs> furniture on Amazon, like a whole couch yeah, set. Yeah, but there's different warehouses that hold different things, too. They but don't all come this, from, like, one singular one. Which also confuses me, because how does it get there so fast? It still blows my mind. Like, I'll look at something that ships from another country. Or something shipping here. Heath, that actually takes long, though. No, uh, what I'm saying is, like, I'll get mad if I see something that's in another country and the shipping is, like, 25 bucks. And I'm like, 25 bucks for shipping? And I'm like, wait, I mean, this is coming from, like, Australia. Yeah. They're putting a package on multiple planes, and it's being intercepted at different stations, and multiple people have their hands yeah. on and it. And it somehow it's, gets to your house. And it somehow gets to me, and I'm sitting there, like, 25 bucks for shipping? How <laughs> dare they? It's... It's it's on multiple planes. It it, Heath, it should be like a hundred and fifty dollars to ship something like from it's a cost of say the it's flight. Free. Like, if you just say something's free shipping, though, people are more likely to buy it. If uh -huh. You just put the shipping price into something. Yeah, it just makes them feel like, oh, it's not that bad. It says free shipping, even though the shipping price is it's just going in. Yeah, but that's crazy. Or they'll do like ten dollars shipping, but if you spend ten more dollars, it's free shipping. Like, it's, mm. that's the same thing. Oh, and we are adding into the well cart. Get, you might as well buy another object and yeah, spend I mean, that $10. I mean, it gets me to buy. I, I love reaching free shipping. It's like a goal. Yeah. It's a fun game. And I win every time. <laughs> I win every time. <laughs> I win every time. Got him. Mm. All right, that's it for the episode, everybody. Thank you for subscribing and watching another show of Zena Heath on Fair uh, make sure to check out these episodes every month eh, on all the podcast platforms and every Tuesday on the video form on youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. Um, we love you guys so much. Thank you for, for, for tuning in and we will see you next week. We love you guys. Toodles. Mwah. Peace. Besos. <laughs>